such big careers, big backgrounds, busy schedules. Please just pass it, along, pass it around. How did you become a part of this film? Um, well, in my case, I had worked with all four girls and Direct Mark in the first Encantadia. And I was very, very honored when they asked me to do this particular movie for two reasons. One, because, like they said, it's been more than a decade since the four girls have done, gotten together. And an opportunity like this is very hard to pass up. The second reason being that, hey, it's an iFlix original movie. The first of its yeah, kind. The first of its kind. And we will forever go down in history as being a part of their first film. So who can say no to that in a mind, right? Yeah, it's a, I, I know it's a very cliche line, but you will never forget the first. <laughs> And this is the first. And you can, and you can jot that down in history. You guys will be the first in iFlix Originals. Now I want to ask, of course, our Mustafa, Mr. Levictus over here. How does it feel to be part of a first? I know there are a lot of firsts in your career, but to be part of an iFlix Original first, how does that feel like? excited and I hope it's gonna be like a step story in my acting career in the Philippines and I'm really happy for the court for having this movie and it's really exciting it's, it's considered as my second and I really really hope that I got the other roles for being like this <laughs> uh, and um, yeah I'm really super excited for it congratulations now I want to ask Ian of course how was the, what was the experience like, and how was it different compared to your other film projects? Um, for my experience, as uh, I worked with Direct Mark's uh, second installation of Encantadia in 2016, and I also worked with Miss Elaine in a few film projects, and being a martial artist, and my career mostly tries to revolve around martial arts. Um, every single experience, every single opportunity to be able to share my knowledge as a martial artist, my talent as a martial artist, and um, to share the talent and the knowledge is also is always para responsibility that kuyan being a martial artist. So of course, I felt very um, honored to be a part of the part of the project, and as you know, as pioneers, um, galing sa mga Pilipino para sa mundo. You know, you know, from one martial artist to another. Rather, I know you're more of an expert than I am, but I honestly can't wait because for those who don't know, for those who haven't been behind the scenes, it's really a different experience doing your own stunts, doing all of the different moves, from being careful to not hit your fellow cast member, <laughs> to making sure they look pretty throughout the whole film. I'm sure, I'm sure you had a few close calls, but you were very much... Mustafa and I had the time of our lives during, during our epic battle. <laughs> and we definitely can't wait to see it. Now, I want to move on to our next friend over here, Matthias. Matthias, I know we've known each other for probably a year or two, I believe. I want to ask this, when you found out the news about getting this original project, where were you and what was your reaction? Because I'm sure a lot of us have those funny stories when we get approved for something. Well, I was in my apartment and I was like, oh, this is great, you know, so I went over there, had some time to audition and, uh, and uh, they, they liked me, so I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, I want to, my first movie, okay, this is my very first movie, I've been doing TV, but um, I was very excited for this, and it's, it's very different, it's a different experience when it's a movie, um, and so I, I'm just so grateful for something like this. Yeah, well, it seems like it. Now, so you have a long career ahead. But speaking of long careers, I want to move on to our next character over here. I really love your hair. I have to. I, I definitely have to start with that. How has this experience, playing this role rather, been different compared to your other roles? Oh, well, this is very exciting. Exciting for me. Um, wala mo paglagyan ng kalagayan. Gumaapaw. Yeah. So you know, of course, I know you're all very passionate about this project, but was there any one moment about the role or the character that stood out to you throughout the whole project? Um, you kind of injured, pero dere dere chupanin yung So may na injured pala. Di naman mo ang di naman mo ang may na injured na wala sa atin. Kasi Junvi, Junvi, na injured ka ba? Uh, hindi. At all. Not at all. Hindi. Uh, 
Mayroong nagbabalak na gusto nyo. <laughs> it's a joke. With Baka kasama naman yeah, sa sequence. Kasama naman oh, sa sequence. Sabi niya gusto daw niyo magkaroon kami ng fight scene. Ah, bahala ka dyan. <laughs> What I want to know, of course, playing this character, what was the most fun you had about it? What was the most fun you had? Because I saw the clips of you, you seemed like you were having so much fun being very expressive, and your castmates are nodding their heads. What was the most fun you had about it? Uh, well, just creating the character itself. Because uh, when, when, the, when the Rex said that I was um, na, a, a scaredy cat, and then hindi dapat comic masyado, okay? Uh, uh, it's about the scenes. Okay, so, uh, how do you do that? Okay, okay. Ah, alright. Okay, okay. Oh, that's it. Well, it seems like until now you're still smiling, you're still nodding your head. I can't wait to see your character. Now I want to move on to our friend here, Caprice, the cutest one here. Tell us what was your favorite moment throughout shooting this whole thing? What was your favorite part? Oh, oh, oh! Especially with Direct Mark again, and it's my first time doing this with Iflix, and I really, really enjoyed it. She will make you cry. I, I, I think we're all in need of a good cry, and coming from you, trust me, it'll be absolutely believable. I honestly Thank can't. You. I honestly can't wait. I really can't wait. Uh, but of course, every great movie needs a scary villain. And by her name alone, Helga, I'd like to welcome the one, the only, Miss Sunshine. Hi, good evening, Sunshine. So first of all, Congratulations, we saw you in the fight scenes and Direct Mark actually did mention that you really put so much time and effort into this character. How was it like being a contrabida for this film? Of course, I got really nervous because uh, nakakatapat Direct Mark tapos yung apat napakagagaling na mga artista. But I'm just very happy and blessed that Direct Mark was there to, to guide me and of course the four sangres. Sangres ba? Witches pala sila dito. Um, sobrang tinulungan at inalalayan nila ako. So, I'm just very grateful and honored to be a part of Mystified. It's really such an honor and blessing for me. So, you did mention the, of course, the four leading ladies. And you're that strong villain character who has to match up to those four other characters. How was that like for you going up against those four strong women? It was a challenge for me, of course. Because, like what I said, they, they are great actors. They are really great. And um, I'm just very thankful to direct Mark. And actually, dun sa shooting namin, we just had fun. Um, kailangan kasi matapang ako dito, but at the same time, maarte. Diba direct, no? So I think na achieve ko naman yung maarte, and at the same time, very powerful. So. Ang saya, ang saya sa set, and everybody was just so nice and professional. So I really had fun. Arabic was fun. Which one? Arabic. Ay, ang hirap. Ang gawin, hindi ko matandaan yung Arabic. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Luvictus. Yeah, it's a first. But ngayon ko lang siya nakita. Gawa ko pala si Luvictus, no? <laughs> yeah, siya yung aking sinusunod dito. Yeah. Hi, Luvictus. Yeah, I'm Helga. <laughs> well, we actually did hear certain stories like direct Mark actually nagkwento siya ng onte yung puro salon pas na it's my essential points uh, from all the fight scenes and all the experiences how was the fight scenes like? how did you prepare? for? because I'm sure after all these years you do have some experience with fight scenes I do boxing that's part of my exercise routine but this time around it was hard kasi may mga sipa-sipang ganyan the first time kong ginagawa yan and ang naka-fight scene ko ba dito si Miss Isa Calzado? Ang galing! Diba? So nasisipa-sipa niya na ako sa pa. <laughs> sorry siya ng sorry sa akin. Masakit na pero nahihiya naman ako, diba? <laughs> Kasi ang galing niya ako medyo nahihirapan ako. To tell you honestly, it was really hard for me because it's the first time that I did something like this. Yung fight scene na ganito. But they were really very helpful and very patient sa akin. From one boxer to another, honestly, Iba yung coordination, di ba? Kasi sanay ka lang na sapakan lang. Yes. Pero pag may paan na... Iba. Iba. Nawawala ka na noonte, di ba? Nawawala na. Parang 
one step din yan eh. Eh, ang galing ni Isa, minsan masisipa niya ako, kailangan pala yumuko ako, hindi ako nakayuko, yung mga gano'n. <laughs> diba? Pero, ano, basta sobrang fun pa rin. Siyempre, hindi may iwasan yung magkakaroon ka minsan, masasaktan ka, pero wala yun, it's part of our job. Speaking of part of your job, this character, I honestly have to say, because I have followed your career for quite some time, there's something different about this one. Honestly, from the way you carried the character to how strong you are against the other women on screen, how did you approach this character na kontra bida na ganito? How did you approach it? Siyempre, una, nakinig ako sa aking mahal na director, Mark. Siya talaga yung nagturo sa akin kung papaano yung approach. And ang isa pang difference ng sunshine na nakikita nila before from here, first time ko nagkaroon ng nak nakaitim na lipstick. <laughs> Aside from be, being very tough and uh, maarte, um, yun, um, I think yung look ko dito is very different from what I've been doing before. Actually, this is the third time that I did something like this. But the first time was with, it was for a movie when I was 15 years old. It is with Joey De Leon, yung Pandoy Alalay ng Panday. Maarte rin ako dun direct. Meron akong snake sa kamay. But I was just 15 and now I'm 41. So, sobrang, sobrang mas modern now, and with direct mark around, it is talagang different approach. Well, you definitely don't look, and I have to chime in with direct mark, you do not look 41, Sunshine. You do not look 41. None of you look your age. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the talented cast of Mystified. Can we ask you all to please take a step forward?